In this tiny office on a rundown street in Hyderabad, a group of women are plotting a daring operation. They're putting on hidden cameras, hoping to catch a human trafficker in the act of selling a young girl. They have to be very fast. When you are going behind also, you have to be very fast. Sida sida jana hai, aisa bilkul nahi mai toh sona ki hum koi nahi logon ke liye. These are the women of Shaheen, an NGO that helps rescue and prevent underage girls from being sold into forced marriages. Jamila Nishat started Shaheen more than 20 years ago. I got into the work because I want my dream to come true. What's your dream? My dream is that every girl be happy and enjoy her life to the maximum and feel free. After rescuing girls, Shaheen helps to rehabilitate them teaching them skills like tailoring, applying henna, or how to use computers, all to help them become financially independent. How many girls do you think you've helped? <laughs> uh, directly, at least more than a hundred. But indirectly, almost a thousand. All of the women here have stories of physical and sexual abuse. Many were sold against their will to wealthy tourists part of an underground network that targets poor villagers so desperate for money, they'll sell their own daughters. Some were gang raped. Nearly all were given drugs, sometimes by their own parents, making them helpless, unable to stop what was happening. Is it just a business transaction for them? Just a business. That's it? It is just a legalized sex work. I call it that way. Legalized sex work. Flesh trade. One of the girls that Shaheen rescued was Munira Begum. She says she was just 12 years old when her parents sold her to an Arab man who is 70. She says he kept her locked up, using her only for sex. When she became pregnant after a few months, he left her, telling her over the phone something he knew all along, that he wasn't coming back. I was crying a lot. I was crying a lot. That's when Munira was rescued and taken in by Shaheen. One of the girls came and showed me all the wounds that she got on her body. And she had wounds? She had all over wounds, all over the body. Most of the girls are sold in forced marriages where everyone is paid off, the brokers, the clerics, even the girls' parents, but the girls themselves are never given a choice. Traffickers prey on poor Muslim families in Hyderabad, an Indian city with its largest Muslim population. Their customers are wealthy tourists from the Middle East and Africa, regions that historically Hyderabad has had strong business ties with. We're on our way right now to visit one of the most senior religious authorities here in Hyderabad. Let's see what he says. We asked a senior Muslim cleric, Mir Muhammad Qadir, if in Islam, a girl could be forced to get married without her consent. But as the victims told us, their consent wasn't taken into account or they had no idea what was going on. So if a top religious authority says girls can't be forced into a marriage, we wanted to know why it's still happening. Hello, sir. Nice to meet you. I'm v. Satnarayanan is the deputy police commissioner. He says the network of traffickers sends potential customers to Hyderabad. Look, if this is an international criminal racket, why aren't the police doing more? Yes, we are uh, doing, we are continuously doing, that's why that uh, rampancy, whatever the degree of this uh, occurrence is come down, rampantly come down. Okay. And we want to zero tolerance uh, to this uh, nasty criminal acts. Because only 5% of the police force are women, Shaheen and its volunteers have been taking matters into their own hands, running their own sting operations, trying to catch known traffickers in the act and then giving their undercover footage to police, forcing them to act. When you look around at this house and all of the people here that you've helped, do you think you're making a difference? Hopefully. I only think it is a drop in the ocean. We have to do a lot. We need to do a lot. 
And as this group of women head out, they know it could be dangerous, but if it means saving lives, they all say the risk is worth it. Mohamed Lila, CNN, Hyderabad.